today we're going to unbox and review the Apple Watch Series 5 Space Gray Aluminum Apple Watch 44 millimeter and that's coming up. That's coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herve from Herve's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products, like the brand new Space Gray Series 5 Apple Watch, which completes my trifecta. We got a brand new laptop, 11 inch, uh, the 16 inch MacBook Pro, we got the 11 Pro Max, and now we have the Series 5. So I've always wanted to get all three at the same time. And anything we discuss in this episode, you will find right on the bottom right over here. Don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of giveaways, maybe even give away my ceramic Apple Watch. Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom. Let's the unboxing let's begin now I got this for $3.99 I got the variant which is the 44 millimeter space gray aluminum case black sports band because I always change my bands now the presentation of Apple is always impeccable and they found a way to have an aerogami styled opening. Now we have two things. We have the watch band and we have the Apple Watch. So let's unfurl. Okay, let's take a look. We have a basic setup. We have the Apple Watch charger with a five watt brick. So we'll put these on the side. And now we take a look at the Apple Watch. You'll see it's in a nice felt package. We're going to slip it out. And as you see, it's a 44 millimeter watch. You can see the back, it says Series 5. But it's really great craftsmanship as you see. It already has fingerprints on it. So let us take a look at the band and then we'll break down exactly how this looks. So we pop it off here. Now I'm coming from an Apple Watch 2. This was a ceramic band. I didn't feel the need to go and get the same model, but there are a ton of differences between the two and the five, and we'll cover that in another episode. Now this has a display that never sleeps. And let's take a look. It comes in four different styles. You have the aluminum, you have the stainless steel, you have titanium, which is brand new, and they brought back the ceramic. Okay, so let's take a look. We have here different sizes, and I think I'm going to go with this one here. We're going to pop this on like so. It locks in place, and we'll do the smaller one. I have baby wrists. Okay, so now that we have that, Let's turn it on. So the materials are really, really good. Okay, so let's take a deeper look. So as I told you, this comes in four different colors, the aluminum, the steel, the ceramic, and the titanium. Now this here has an always on display. It's an OLED display. But due to the S5 SOC, which means system on check, it's basically the CPU and the GPU all in one chip. 
and it has the same GP, uh, CPU as the 4, but what's new is a new display driver and it has a power management chip, hence the all day display and improved battery life. You're gonna get about 18 hours of uh, use with this. Now, it has a variable refresh rate of every second, which means it uses less power. Uh, when it's not being looked at, it goes and it drops to one hertz. Now, I've been wanting this feature since the very first uh, Apple Watch, and I'm sure you guys have been waiting for this too. Now, it will not be off. It will just go dim, and when you raise your wrist, it will just illuminate to its full power. Now, so which means no more Apple Watch shake in here. Now, you will get 18 hours, so you don't have to charge every single day, but I would say honestly, if you take off and dim the feature of having it on all the time, you could probably stretch it out to about two days. But right now we're gonna try it out with um, the same dim feature on, so you're gonna get about 18 hours right here. Now, the new Apple Watch has a built-in compass, which will help you find true north. If you've ever used the uh, map app with this and you've gone the wrong way and you've had to reorient yourself from the previous models, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is gonna help you find your way and it's gonna know what direction you are without you having to know which way you're facing. So that's really good. Now the Series 5 comes with more storage. Now, these older version here comes with 16 gigs, but this has 32 gigs, which means more music directly on your device, but it also means more room for apps, which makes this a standalone device separate from your iPhone. Um, that's gonna be really, really good when you're using it. Now, the cellular version um, has more antennas inside for uh, international cellular band, which means if you ever have a problem, you hold the side right over here and it will allow you to make a international call to the local police, even if you don't have a cellular plan. Now this does not have a cellular plan, um, but I didn't need that. Now, I'll probably get another one. I think I'll probably get the ceramic one. Um, I really like the ceramic outlook on here, but we'll see how this goes. Now, what sets this apart from other watches out there is you're gonna get the Apple Eco structure. You're gonna be tied in with the phone and your iPad and the Mac. So once you're in the Apple Eco structure, they pull you back in. And, but it's really good. I, I love the experience in here. Another feature that this has is if you hold this button down right over here for 30 seconds, it has a built-in e-electrocardiogram, uh, EKG, to tell you if you have any heart complications, and it will tell you if you need to go see your doctor as well. Now, you also can put apps directly on, which means you don't need to pull out the phone. Uh, you're gonna have access with Siri, which means you can call Siri and say, hey Siri, get me uh, Tesla apps, and it'll bring it up. But when you do searches on the internet, it will grab stuff from Google and bring it right to you to be able to access the internet right on your phone, on your watch, which is really, really cool. It also has a menstrual cycle uh, tracker which will help the ladies out there. I think Apple should have came out with this a long time ago to show the ladies that they have uh, been taken care of, but I, I think it's not an easy thing to do or else they would have done it, but I'm glad it has it. Now, when you talk, Siri now has access to the internet, which means on the series one and two, didn't do that, it relied on the phone but on here we'll go directly on the internet and do that now if you look on the top corner right over here let's see right in the corner right here you have a built-in noise meter 
And what it's doing is it's grabbing and seeing exactly the decibel range and will tell you when you are peaking or reaching uh, something that's gonna damage your ear. Now, we're officially going to take off the old watch and I may do a giveaway on this. And just if you were wondering what the trade-in value for my old Apple Watch was, ceramic, well, let's just say it was $60. I paid $1,200 for it. So Series 2, kind of surprised. Okay, so if you look, this is the 44 millimeter variant and it fits nice. Um, it's not as heavy as the ceramic band, but you're gonna get uh, protection. Now also, I opted to get the Apple Care. So make sure I always get Apple Care on all my devices. This is gonna ensure that you have coverage. Now you can either pay $79 for the Apple Care at once, or they'll take out $3 a month uh, for there. But it's really good. I also opted to get the black band. I have a ton of other bands, but it's not gonna reach it. But I get my bands from a place called Get Modern, and I'm gonna get a variety of bands to check out for you guys to see. Now, do me a favor. If you found value in this, or you're thinking about getting an Apple Watch, let me know what series you're coming to. Now, I'm coming from a series two. I have a one which I gave away to a friend. Um, are you gonna get the Apple Watch Series 5? If you had it for a while, what's your favorite feature? Let me know on the bottom. I would love to know what apps I should be looking out for. Now, the next we're going to do is a comparison between the two and the five. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Really looking forward to uh, using this. And if you take a look, We'll wait, you can see that it's gonna go dim after a while. And then all you do is you raise it and you're good to go. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Do me a favor, if you think this brought value, give me a like if you wanna see more of the content and wanna stay abreast as to what we're doing on the channel, well, hit that notification button and also hit that subscribe button. I do lots of giveaways here and I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, IT means I try and I don't gotta do this anymore. Peace.